Before I jump into the video, I just wanted to give a big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this. So Skillshare is an online learning community for creators. It has over 2,500 classes. There's some in design and business and a lot in art as well. The class that I decided to take was one on calligraphy. If you've been following me for a while, you know I've always been really interested in calligraphy, so I thought this was a good chance to improve and learn some new techniques. I actually went out and I bought the pen that he mentions in the video and I've been using that and I absolutely love it. So the premium membership gives you unlimited access, you can join any class that you want and Skillshare is giving away a free two month unlimited access trial. So if you guys want to check that out you can click the link in my description box and after the two months is over it's only around $10 a month which isn't too bad. I had so much fun trying out this course and getting to connect with a lot of like-minded people with similar interests. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll have links in the description box. And that's pretty much it, so I'm just going to jump straight into the video. Hey everyone, so I am back with another video and today I'm just going to be doing a little journal with me slash stationery haul. I used to put out quite a bit of journaling content in the past from videos and photos and what have you but I kind of stopped journaling for a little while because I got to a point where I felt like I was just too busy to actually keep up with it and then I moved to Japan so I actually left all of my journaling supplies in the States but lately I felt like I wanted to try and get back into it so I went out and I picked up some stuff and so I thought I would show you guys some of the things that I picked up as well as kind of how I fill out a page in my journal. So I think I'll just start off with the haul and show you guys all the things that I picked up. I don't have a ton. I definitely don't have as much as I had in California, but it's enough. It's enough. Majority of these supplies are from a shop called Sekaido. A few things are from Tokyo Hands, and one thing is thrifted. So first up, we have my journal. And this is the thrifted piece. The cover is thrifted. The inserts I purchased at Sakaido. I've always loved the Traveler's Notebook journal covers because I think they look very cute and I really like the look of leather journals, but unfortunately it is real leather. So I have always avoided purchasing it directly from the brand because I obviously don't want to support the leather making industry. I was out thrifting and I actually stumbled across this Traveler's Notebook cover and I immediately picked it up. It's in really good condition so I was very surprised. I feel like if it's secondhand then it's okay because it's not directly supporting the industry. So I have this Traveler's Notebook cover. I have some of the Traveler's Notebook inserts in the inside and I bought the little name plate to add to the front as well. Next up, I have this really, really amazing little book. It is the 100 Writing and Crafting Papers of Mushrooms. We all know that I am a sucker for mushrooms. I just think they're so cute and so interesting too. So when I saw this, I absolutely had to get it. It literally has like a hundred pages of just mushroom art. Next up, I just have this plain notebook. It's just solid white plain pieces of paper. I chose this one specifically because the paper is very smooth, almost glossy. So it works really well with ink pens and dip pens for calligraphy, which brings me into the next part of this haul, which is pens. First things first, I have a glass dip pen and some ink, of course. I really, really love glass dip pens because I like how smooth they write and I also like how fine the tip is. Glass pens are great. I also picked up this pen right here, and I believe this is called Parallel Pen. I mentioned it in the ad in the beginning of this video, and I seriously am obsessed with this pen. It's great. You can write so you get a really nice thick line, and you can also write with it on its side, so you get a very nice thin line as well. And then last but not least, I have this little brown pen. This is like brown but it has a slight orangish tint to it. I feel like it is the perfect fall color. Next up I have some stamps and this one is a date stamp and I actually brought this with me from the States. I think I got it from Michael's Craft Store or Joann's or something like that. And then here in Japan I picked up this stamp. This is just a really pretty delicate little leaf stamp. 
it looks very nice, very cute, and I picked up some brown ink for that as well. Next up, I just have this little tape thingy, my jigger. It's like tape, but cooler. I also picked up two washi tapes, and this first one is just a brown tan color, and the next one is this really pretty botanical tape. It has some plants and flowers, their names and their uses. And then last but definitely not least, I have a wax seal and some wax. This wax seal is so freaking cute. It gives off some really nice witchy vibes, but also it reminds me a lot of the Turkish flag because moon and a star. And with that, let's just get straight into the journaling. Would you make me a call fear too? I don't want to head out half asleep Swallowed the cannonball in my dream And it's pulling me back underneath my sheets It's freezing out Morning blues Well I'm here I ain't no coward I was never hiding from you Couple calls A few forlorn stares Wind whistles and the windows All who dares to question me We run on when the past comes back to life Where those cold still Hands were sharp as knives And your burdens Oh, they clung in the disguise Of your solace Where the air was cold as ice So no Spare me a dollar two. I never like to take off having too much to lose. A couple coins, the air in my lungs. But I'll need to bunker down when winter comes. Met a man. Stood tall and free His mouth ran like an engine All the things he's asking me Every time I say back no sir You must love the hours spent playing in the dirt And he asked Will you run on? When the past comes back to life Where those cold steel Hands were sharp as knives And your burdens Oh, they clung in the disguise Of your solace Where the air was cold as ice No, sir Beside your ambition Lay your poor voice in the dust Left mine out in the rain Comes a light to look across Will you run on? When the past comes back to life Where those cold steel Hands were sharp as knives And your burdens Oh, they clung in the disguise Of your solace Where the air was cold as I So no
burdens Oh, they clung in a disguise Are you solace? Where the air was cold as ice So not 